What's up, Dalton? All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome. Um, Fred Michael Show. We've got about 30 seconds before it's showtime. Welcome aboard. And if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit subscribe, like all the videos, and thank you for joining the Fred Michael Show. Life is a rock star. And listen to the show weekly live at blogtalkradio.com slash Fred Michaels. We appreciate you tuning in. Here we go. Live. One. Love Talk Radio. Tell you what, buddy. Welcome to the Fred Michael Show. Life is a rock star. Right here, I am the man behind the bandana. I'm your host, Fred Michaels. Uh, for you out there that don't know who I am, I am Fred Michaels. I am a Brett Michaels lookalike. Uh, I've been a Brett Michaels lookalike since '09, and have met the man himself, Mr. Brett Michaels. And he is um, uh, he. How, what's the word I was looking for? My mind just went blank. Hey, it's a Monday. What do you expect? Um, he told me to keep doing what I'm doing, so I am doing what I'm doing. And um, I've been doing this show, Fred Michael's show, Life is a Rockstar. I've been doing it for over a year now, and um, it's not, um, couldn't be done without people like y'all and like y'all. And I am pointing at Periscope, I'm pointing at YouTube, and I am pointing at Facebook Live. And thank y'all so much. And everybody out there listening at Blog Talk Radio. And um, Block Talk Radio, if you're out there listening, on Facebook and Periscope, 718-766-4118 to get in and talk to our special guest tonight, which is uh, Everlit. I'm going to tell you what, um, check them out. Look them up on all social medias. Check their videos out on YouTube. Uh, they will be coming to a city near you, if not your own city. I never understood that, coming to a city near you. Wouldn't that be coming to the, your city? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I think different than a lot of people. Uh, I just thought that was kind of funny. But, hey, that was in my city a few weeks ago. Um, make sure you check them out and get in here and call them and ask them a question. They would love to talk to you right here on the Fred Michael Show. We will get to them here in a few minutes. Um, Dalton, um, there in Kentucky, to hi to Dalton and his mother, Stacy. Thank you for tuning in every week. Um, Thomas, out there in Houston, Texas, I want to say hi to you too, give you a quick shout out, but hey everybody out there, um, thank you for listening, remember this show will be archived and a link will be posted after the show so you can go back and listen to it, um, also if you're not subscribed to the, the brand new um, the Fret Michael Show um, YouTube channel, please go out there and um, subscribe to that, um, we will have a video up from tonight's show if we don't get... Um, X'd out by the YouTube police. I'm going to try my best not to um, have any um, thing that we should get muted from tonight. Um, I'm going to try to control that volume on a new experiment we got going on. So I will try to control that so we don't get any copyright. Even though we do have permission from our guest that on the show, I do not play any music that we don't have any permission from our guest to play. But um, again, thank you to our special guest tonight, Everlit. For being on the show, um, they've been um, really nice working out the dates with us to be on the show, and we appreciate them because they are on full blown tour. They are, um, hey, Alabama in the house. Thank you, Valerie, for tuning in. Just a big shout out to WQSB there, the radio station there, and um, 
the Etowah, Marshall County, and surrounding northeast half of Alabama, Georgia area there. Um, but hey, 718-766-4118, uh, get your um, calls in and questions in to the Everlit. Also, um, questions sent into to um, Twitter at The Fret Show. Also, a little um, Facebook show page at um, The Fret Michaels Talk Radio Show. Um, we'll get to those as quick as we can. Also, um, Periscope. Check us out at The Periscope at The Fret Show. Um, man, we at all, all kinds of um, social medias. and We've got... Um, Three of the guys on the show on the line waiting for your calls. But meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and um, take, go do a quick break, and we're going to come back and take care of some of the housekeeping with some of the friends of the Fred Michaels Show. So y'all stay tuned, um, and we'll take care of this business, and we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. We're going to get down. Right there. And you know what time it is? Hey, guys. It's time to get noticed. Let me see where the camera is on Periscope right here. It's time to get noticed. That's right, guys. It's time to get noticed with PM Star Promotions. Um, that's Patrick um, at PMStarPromotions.com. You can find him on the web there at PMStarPromo.com. Right here you go. He's got an in-house graphic artist. He handles all my promotional stuff there from hats to um, decals to all my, to my banners. You check them out. That's some of my decals right there. You make sure you tell them you heard it at um, on the Fred Michaels show. He can hook you up. Very fast turnaround. Great prices. Check him out. Um, that's PM Star Promotions. That's PMStarPromo.com. Check him out on my Facebook. Um, he just did a skateboard deck that um, by uh, a Kiss Peter Chris and Kiss. Um, super fan, he did it, and it was presented to the man himself, Peter Chris. Check it out; it's on my Facebook wall. I shared it a few days ago. Check it out. He gave it to Peter. She gave it, or he or she gave it to Peter Chris himself. Check it out. Um, it's awesome. He done an awesome job. He done a custom made uh, guitar for a friend of mine that won um, uh, uh, a competition um, a couple years ago. Um, I had made for him. He does speakers. Um, Skateboard decks, anything you want to make customized for anybody, he's your man. Check him out. That's PM Star Promos. Tell him, hit Patrick up and tell him you heard it on the Fred Michael Show. Also, um, let me talk to you about the Titanic. That's TitanicPigeonForge.com, TitanicBranson.com. Uh, it's 1 800 318 7670. They got an uh, exhibit there in Branson until. It's until May 29th, and then it's coming from June the 5th to August the 14th here in Pigeon Forge. They've got the world exclusive rights to the um, um, most prized artifact ever recovered at the Titanic, and it um, was fetched for $1.7 million at auction, and it is the um, violin that was played by um, Wallace Hartley. And it is um, on display in Branson. It will be on display here in Pigeon Forge. And um, call to get your tickets now. Um, even if you don't want to come see that, um, anytime you're in Pigeon Forge or Branson, take your family to see it. It's an awesome museum. Uh, my wife and I, we love it. Um, we go several times. It's an awesome museum. Beautiful, beautiful thing. You also can get married there. Keep that in mind for all you lovebirds out there. You can get married on the Grand Staircase. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see. But hey, also, they, they, they have a special VIP for the violin. They, only, they reserve that for 25 people a day. That's all. Only 25 people. You call, reserve your spot because they will go fast. That's 1-800-381-7670. And that's um, TitanicPigeonForge.com, TitanicBranson.com. Tell them you heard that also on the Fred Michael Show. Um, I want to also tell you a quick thing. And I'm, I'm just going to touch on this for just a second. The, um, in Franklin, North Carolina, I'm a part of the a fundraiser for the Shriners Hospital. And it's coming up. If you're interested in being a sponsor for that, get with me. Um, we can hook you up with that for you can get yourself um, on a t-shirt if you want to sponsor that. And if you want to be um, in the 8K there, let me know. I can get you a packet for you can save some money on the entry fee there. Okay? Um, I'm going to be emceeing the award ceremony there for the second year straight, and we're going to have an 80s cover band there for everybody. So come on, um, get with me, let me know, let me save you some money. And if you're interested in being a sponsor for that, uh, let me know, and I can tell you how to get um, 
with the organizer of that and we can get you um, in on that and get you on the t-shirts there. Um, we expect in a big crowd and a great time and it's in the evening time this time so it won't be so hot on everybody like it was last year. So let me know about that, okay? Um, also, um, I have a GoFundMe page for the show. I've been doing it for the year and it is self-funded. So GoFundMe.com slash The Fret Show. Also, you can um, get different packages for your donations. If you don't want to donate, just go read it, share it. Um, that's all I ask you to do. Um, you can get all kind of merchandise with your donations. So I appreciate that. Just check that out. That's all I ask you to do. Um, other than that, man, it's, it's all good. Just check it out. But hey, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to introduce you to a few guys, okay? Um, these, um, right here from Double Take Studios, I want to introduce you to these guys. We're going to rock it with some great new talent. These guys have been touring the country and rocking every city that they come. <clears throat> Excuse me, every city that they go to. Please give a big rockin' welcome to my special guest, Everlit, right here on the Fret Michael Show. Hey guys, welcome to the show. How's everybody doing? What's up, Fred? Man, what's going on, man? How you doing? Man, we're just sitting right. here, Thanks, um, man. hanging out in the Smokies, man. We just, well, actually, it's raining here. How's it in y'all's area? Oh, it's raining, man. We're about ready to get your storm up here. Oh, now, um, tell everybody whereabouts are y'all located at? Oh, we're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's probably headed y'all's way. Um, actually, my um, wife's family's in Kentucky, and they just they had um, power outages and, and some phone outages, so that it hit them pretty bad uh, probably about four hours ago. So it's headed that way. <laughs> yeah, we're not looking forward to it, but I'll tell you what, man. We were actually just uh, through Tennessee, and we had the chance to have a day off at the Smoky Mountains. And I personally have never been. And man, what a wonderful, wonderful place you guys got down there, man. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's it's a it's a beautiful place. That's what I tell everybody. I've moved here two years ago, and the traffic is horrendous most of the time. But it's like I tell those little man. I tell you what, I've been tongue tied all day. Driving to work, I, I live in Sevierville, which that's where y'all performed at. I have to drive to Gatlinburg, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away from where I live. But I get to look at the mountains, which is like, I tell everybody, I, I get to look at a postcard every day going to work. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, dude, those Smoky Mountains are ridiculously awesome. <laughs> I think we just posted a few pictures actually too. We saw a few uh few bear on the uh trail up. It was oh. pretty wild. Dude, we saw, saw some little black cubs. Well that's more than I could say. I lived here two years and I hadn't got to see one. <laughs> so y'all've done more y'all have done more than I have. <laughs> you gotta go explore more up there, brother. Well hey, um <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that's wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down over there. Calm down. Oh, wait. That's wrong sound effect. My bad. <laughs> that's the closest I had to a bear. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You just scared the crap out of me. Uh, but no, hey, I'd like to get um, started on my show with a little background before we um, talk about the band. Um, so how did each of y'all become involved in music? And we'll start with that right there. And how old were you when y'all began um, in the music and performing? And y'all and can um, argue about who wants to start with that one. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, my, my name's Anthony. I'm the guitar player of Emberlet. Uh, I mean, I you know I came from a family of music. You know, my dad uh, always had Beatles, Stones, Roy Orbison playing. Uh, I mean, he always had a guitar lying around. But honestly, it wasn't until I was 16, so it was pretty late. He never wanted to you know, make me play guitar, he wanted, you know, when I was ready and wanted to play it, and it was until around 16, I actually wanted to pick up a guitar, learn it, and I mean, it was pretty easy, you know, that, that summer, I, I didn't have too many friends, so I just locked myself in the bedroom, and 
all summer long. That's all I did, chords, you know, scales, you name it. And then just, I, you know, I grew to love it and played it, you know. My dad always said, treat it like a toy. Don't treat it like a, you know, something you have to do. It's, treat it like something that, you know, it's fun. So I've been doing it ever since. Wow, that's cool. And, and the next one? Hey, this is Ryan. I'm the singer. Uh, I, uh, always, I've always been interested in music since uh, I was like a real little boy. Um, I know me and my brother started trying to put together bands. Uh, Jordan, he's the, uh, he's the other guitar player. Uh, we, used to, we started trying to put together bands when we were in like fifth grade, fourth and fifth grade. Like, you know, we couldn't play music for life a lot, but we were at least trying. <laughs> and we were doing, like, little concerts at the school on the stage and stuff, and we were horrible, you know, but, like, we were trying. So back since we were real little, I got the answer. And then we just kept doing it, kept getting better and better, and still, we're still at it. Well, um, you know, it's like I tell everybody, you know, you got to start somewhere. you got to start somewhere. <laughs> okay. I've not learned your voices and who goes with what, so um, there's who's who's the next one? Jodo. Yeah, yeah, you got you got me on the line here too. I don't know if uh, I said what's up yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm Jordan. I'm the uh, other guitarist to Everlet, and uh, yeah, Ryan mentioned that Tim and I are brothers. We've been playing music for a long time. Um, I used to play the bass. In uh, Everly, when we first formed, I was a bass player, and um, you know, we just and when we got out of the studio, we just said there's too much guitar work. We needed two, two guitar players, and I figured, mm. hey, if we need to pick somebody up, let's grab a bass player, and I'll move over to guitar. So, mm. um, well, I've playing music, been playing music for a while, having a, having a lot of fun now. I always want to play guitar. So I'm, I'm excited to be able to do that in Everly. Well, that's good. Jordan, don't forget to tell them about um, your history with the. Uh, Was you in a marching band? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 I was in a, uh, well, we went to, we went to a Catholic school, and, uh, they made a, I, I never actually played the flute, I played the trumpet, um, and at the Catholic school, you know, we all had to take an instrument or whatever, and I, oh. you know, I was pretty good at Mexican jumping beans, that was my song. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Now, had y'all each been in, ever been involved in a band prior to Everlit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, professionally? Uh, well, actually, we all have, yeah. Ryan and yeah, I were in a band called uh, Will Powerless for a while. And um, we, we were doing some really cool stuff with Will Powerless before we moved over to Everlit. We lost our guitar player um, and, you know, started a new project under, under Everlit. And that's when we, when we grabbed Anthony a long time high school friend, so we figured, you know, he, he had a thought when we were looking, and, you know, it's, it's a really good match, so, but Anthony's on the project, too, if you want to talk about that. <clears throat> yeah, I came, uh, I came from, you know, a couple of bands here and there, uh, never, nothing ever is super professional, just more of a local scene, mm -hmm. um, you know, I was in and out of college for different things, but, uh, like Jordan was saying, you know, about a year and a half ago, when, um, Will Powerless broke up. You know, these guys I went to high school with, graduated with, so when I saw that, you know, I figured, you know what, let's hit them up, see what's going on, and, you know, we jammed, we had our first, uh, my interview to them, and it was kind of like a reunion, and everything just fit perfectly, and felt great, and, uh, you know, we started off, and, you know, been been marching forward and not looking back ever since. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. And, um... I want, I want to thank you, uh, Anthony, for um, starting fo starting to follow me um, several weeks ago. Um, that's how this transpired, so I appreciate it because um, now I have new workout music, so I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, let's see here. Um, now, um, whose idea was it to form Everlit, and had that always been a dream to have a band like this? And was it? Did y'all always play this type of music? 
I mean, was the bands prior to this this type of music? I would say for Ryan and Jordan, for Will Powerless, it was along the same vein of music. I think, uh, I mean, they could speak to it a little bit better, but from an outside point of view, uh, the difference, main difference is it's a little bit uh, more upbeat, mm -hmm. a little bit more mainstream, um, and, I mean, it has some sick and killer, killer breakdowns in our jams. Uh, but other, I mean, for me personally, my old projects were more of a, a, of an acoustic or a, an indie kind of uh, sound. I mean, I came uh, with a lot of The Cure, uh, Counting Crows, you know, but I had a hard rock uh, metal influence as well. But typically I, I lean towards uh, more indie rock type stuff. So when I came to Everlet, you know, it was a nice, it was a nice outlet for my heavier side, my heavier wrist and things like that. Okay. Well, I, I pause for a minute because I don't want to cut. No, I don't want to step over nobody if they want to add anything to it. So, <laughs> okay. Well, I tell you what. Yeah. No, go ahead. Hello. Is he? You there, Jordan? You keep keep on the way. You're good. Okay. Hold on. I scrolled down too far on, on, on the question. I want to hold on. Uh, hold on. I, I'm doing questions in a new format tonight, so uh, y'all just have to bear with me. Oh, okay. Um, now, do you guys have um jobs during the day, or do y'all just do the band thing and travel? Yeah, we do. We do still. Yeah, we do still have jobs. I mean, we're. We're doing some really cool things in, in Everland. We're doing a lot, you know, we're doing a decent amount of touring and we're out support by music. But, yeah, we're, 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 we're still trying to balance, you know, having having jobs and making a living and, and trying to pursue, you know, a music career. So it's tough. Yeah, yeah, I bet that is. Okay, um, i tell you what. I'm going to explain something right quick to the Facebook Live folks and periscope folks right quick um with the new experiment i'm doing with letting y'all be able to hear things in my headsets for you that are um not um following blogtalkradio.com slash fret michaels or dialing 718-766-4118 and listening to the show so you can hear what's going on in the headsets i'm letting y'all hear it through the speakers here external speakers for y'all can hear Whenever I play their music, I'm going to have to turn the speakers off. <laughs> so um, we're fixing to get into one of their songs here, and I'm going to let y'all um, tell us a little bit about it, um, the song Fake, if y'all want to tell a little bit about it before we get into the song. And that song comes on about the time I hit about a half a mile on the treadmill. So that song comes on about the time I hit that every day. Cool. Yeah, Faith is um, definitely one of our, um, you know, harder, harder hitting tracks. Um, just, I know I needed about that time too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd actually like to throw that one more if I'm like living some weights or something. It's fun. But um, yeah, that song is just about you know uh, something that I think everybody can relate to at one point or another. Uh, letting letting somebody get too close to you. And then it turns out that they really, you know, weren't worthy of being so close, you know, maybe right. like a, a lover or best friend or someone that you just really let them become a major part of your life and then they stab you in the back, you know? Yeah, and uh, like you said, I think we've all had to deal with that at several points of our lives, not just one. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, everybody, um, we're going to go to a break and we're going to play... Um, Everlit, we're going to play um, one of their songs, Fake. So uh, everybody stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more um, questions with Everlit. And remember, 718-766-4118. And if you want to talk and ask a question, make sure to press 1 to let me know that you want to ask a question, and we'll get right to your questions with Everlit. Stay tuned for more of the Fred Michael Show right here on blogtalkradio.com.
Hey, I can talk with y'all now. Yeah, I got my mic muted. Music's playing. I can talk to Periscope, and I can talk to y'all now. So, hey, uh, um, what's up, Hearst House, Matthew, Molly, Pamela, Dalton. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for tuning in, by the way. What's up, Ella? My wife got called into work, so that's why I had to lean away and give some sugars. She got called into work. One of her co-workers had a death in the family, so she had to go. What's up? James. Come here. Oh, Ella's being bashful. So I hope y'all are able to hear a little bit of their conversation. I'm wanting to get the sound a little bit better, but on YouTube, I played just a few seconds of Prince last week. They muted my whole show. So, I'm going to have to, I have to cut down when I play anybody's music, even though I've got permission from them to play their songs on my show. I can't do it and broadcast it on YouTube. So, YouTube, what's up, YouTube listeners? If you're out there on YouTube, please subscribe. Hit subscribe down below. Click subscribe, please. Appreciate that. And I forget my YouTube camera's going for my video, and so i just sitting here just talking away. Yes, I'll be at Altoona Days. So make sure you come by and see me. Altoona Days, come see me. I'll be there all day. I'll be there all day. And, and uh... Everything, uh, I'll be taking my merchandise, my pictures or hats, whatever I have. Um, parts of that money will be going, portions of that will be going to Shriners Hospital. Everything from my table that day, portions will be going to the Shriners Hospital that day. All right, I'm going to get back ready to get back on the show. Y'all be here. Blogtalkradio.com slash Fred Michaels. Follow that show too. Hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you hadn't, man. Come on, help me out. Showing you how the other half lives with the Fred Michaels show, Life is a Rockstar. From the Double Take Studios, here's Fred Michaels. All right, welcome back to the show, the Fred Michaels show, Life is a Rockstar, right here with our special guest tonight, Everlit. And that was the song Fake right there. And matter of fact, we've got a phone call on the line. <coughs> Excuse me there. Let's go see who we got here. Thank you for calling. Well, let's see. Thank you for calling the show. Who do we have and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Denise and I'm calling from Flint, Michigan. Um, the guys might know me better on Twitter as RomanGirl2073. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, Denise. <laughs> we know Denise. We know her. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, we talk a lot, don't we, guys? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you rock. What's happening? Oh, not much. I'm outside 52 degrees weather and freezing. <laughs> well, I wish... It's, it's a little chilly out. Wow. But my question for you guys is, what is your favorite part of being on tour? Oh, I mean, besides the can jam that we play in between each, each show uh, at the parking lot, uh, uh, man... Probably would be just getting up there right before we go on, play the first note for me anyway. It's just looking, you know, looking around at everybody, looking at, you know, my bandmates and just just have that energy and that, that you know, that drive to just put on the best show we can. I think it's me and all the people like Denise on tour. Yeah, in fact, yeah, yeah. I'm getting that tattoo done. I'm getting that tattoo done on Saturday, guys. Oh, is that the Phoenix awesome. one? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you're going to have the Apple oh. tattoo when we come 
Well, it has a double meaning because I went to University of Phoenix, and our slogan is, we rise. So, but I can't wait to show it off to you guys, and I definitely can't wait to see you guys on the 21st. I mean, I got all the songs down pat. I know the words. Uh, I know the songs word to word, and I'm ready. Oh, I know. Uh, I guess vocals. We're ready. I can't wait to see you singing it. I can't wait to hang out with you guys. Um, I think you guys know Drill. Uh, she goes by Zilly Fair Fan One. She's, yeah. she said she's waiting for you guys to come to Illinois. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Like the next round is going to be cool. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I'm really excited seeing you guys on the 21st. I'm all ready for it. Um, that little something something I have for you guys is all ready to go, so can't wait make to sure you bring it. out make sure you bring out a bunch of friends. We can't wait to see everyone and hang out. You're definitely gonna be hanging out after the show with us. Oh absolutely, because I'm not going to be in any rush and getting home, so I can hang out for as long as I want. Awesome. Look forward to it, definitely. Oh absolutely. But uh yeah, sadly, I gotta go, you know, got a job thing to do in the morning. Um, <laughs> so, uh, watch for my tweets to you guys, um, check your, when you can, check your DM, and I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. Well, well we can't wait to see you for yeah. sure. Thank you so much for calling in, Siri, that means so much to us. Oh, absolutely, guys. Take care. And thank you for calling. Yeah, thank you for listening, too. Thank you. Have yes, a great... No problem. Bye, guys. Have a great night. Bye. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. See you, guys. Well, that was awesome. She sounds like a hardcore fan. She's ready to rock and roll. Oh, we love Denise. But listening to that conversation, it's funny nowadays. It, it, it ain't your real name don't even matter anymore. <laughs> it, it, it's it's what you go by on, on the social media now. That's right, man. You know, and it's, that's one big thing with us, man. Like even anyone that we uh, have on our social medias, we love to talk with, chat with. You know, try to get to know them for this exact reason. You know, I yeah. mean, No matter where we are in the country. We want to meet somebody, you know, that we've already had a relationship with through our social media and then, you know, meet them in person and just really, you know, make a connection with our music to them and, you know, whatever we can offer. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, and um, I hope it always stays that way because that's, that's, shoot, that's what it's all about. Now, how did you come up with the name Everlit and who came up with that? Well... I guess the beginning of it was uh, we have a song on our debut EP, uh, A Phoenix Will Rise. Right. And we were tossing uh, some name ideas for that song, and our working title for it was called Emberlit. And we were, you know, we were kind of thinking, you know, we named the song, and then we're sitting there like, you know what, that's actually a pretty decent name for, you know, because they had their old band that dissolved, and through those ashes came Emberlit. Um, so we wanted to name them Emberlit. And then funny enough, you know, we're looking online, as everyone I'm sure does when they're looking up band names. And we found uh, there's actually a stove, I think, a stove company in Texas that makes Emberlit uh, stoves. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're camping. So. Yeah, yeah, there you go, camping. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So we didn't want to tread on anyone's toes. So, you know, we were like, well, Emberlit, Emberlit, that's cool. Well, what can we get? And uh, I think it was Jordan that uh, just took it and went with Everlit And, you know, we all liked it and we stuck with it. Yeah, we were, you know, we were. What I actually saw, you know, I was like, well, Everlet's easier to say, you know. I think it actually said more to us than that. So, yeah, everybody, everybody went, went with it. So, I'm glad, I'm glad there's a stove Emberlet, because I'd rather be Everlet than that. So, it's Everlet, not Everlit? Yeah, Everlet. Everlet, okay. Okay, okay, Everlet. Okay. I'm from Alabama, so it's Everlit. It's Everlit. It's from, I'm from Alabama. <laughs> Everlit. I like it. I like it. It's Everlit. Everlit. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, 
story the last couple of times for some reason. We never heard this our, our entire time being Everlight, but a couple of people were calling us Everlight. And we're like, <laughs> you know, there's no E on the end. Yeah. How do you get an Everlight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. This struggle. No, oh, I know. It's real. <laughs> well, so what would you consider your biggest moment so far? As Everly. <laughs> Everly. <laughs> Everlight. Yeah, Everlight. 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 Because <laughs> you, you drink Cares Light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I definitely say one of uh, our biggest moments for sure um, was uh, we toured with In This Moment, actually. We did some shows with them. Uh, one of our favorite bands, 36 Crazy Fist. Uh, and, I mean, that <laughs> those shows were just phenomenal. I mean, we made a lot of great fans, a lot of met a lot of great people that we still, you know, connect with today, and they still follow us. Uh, so that was a huge, mo uh, huge moment last summer for us. Okay, and that gets into the next question. Who would you consider your biggest... Um, Musical influences. Hmm. That's tough. <laughs> well, I, mean, well, I don't have a cricket sound effect. <laughs> yeah, right. Cue, cue the uh, uh, cricket noise. Uh, for us, I mean, for me, you know, we range all over from depth tones. You know, obviously there's some... Uh, Metal influences, uh, some Chevelle, and, you know, a lot of cool bands I grew up listening to, you know, obviously for guitar-wise, you know, I'm stemmed from all the um, classics like Hendrix, uh, Tony Iommi, uh, you know, some Sabbath and everything there. Yeah, it's definitely a typical question, because we all come from, you know, pretty, pretty different backgrounds of what we like, but we do have some common influences, like you said, like that sounds is one of them. You know, we all grew up kind of in like the, like the, the early 2000s, or like, you know, new metal, you know, cool and Slipknot and stuff like that, where that's definitely where like a lot of our heavier rock influence comes from. It's not like super metal stuff, it's kind of like the new metal feel. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say we're new metal. Okay, now, um, y'all have a new album that's out now, correct? Oh, we just dropped a new single. Okay, and um, that happens to be the next song in queue. Uh, if y'all want to talk about that, um, tell everybody um, about that song, and we'll go ahead and play that right after you tell everybody about it. Okay, Ryan will tell you about it. All right, I'll chime in for that one. Um, Red's about... Uh, in a world where people, you know, try to make you think something, you know, they, it's kind of like a world of everybody just walking around as zombies, you know, it's like you, you, you're the one that sticks out. So it says, I'll be the, in a world so black and white, I'll be the, I'll be the red. So it's like, think about like a black and white painting with like a splash of red, you know, you're the, you're the red that strolls the eye. Now is the, the, is it acronym for anything? <laughs> so funny, you should ask. I don't yeah, know if we're ready to bold that just yet. <laughs> yeah, we we have we have a couple of meetings that that where it sticks to us, but you know, within the band, we have we we all have kind of our own meetings. So I think at this point, we've kind of left it up to the flow. We're not we're not going to disclose what it means. We'll leave it up to the fans to decide for themselves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go to a break, and we're going to play their new single, which is available um, iTunes, Google, uh, Amazon, I guess it's available at all of the digital download um, outlets, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to play that, and remember, everybody, it's 718-766-4118. Uh, make sure you press... And y'all get a funny kick out of this since we were talking about ever light or ever lit. lit. Um, you know, I, I'm, from, I'm from Alabama and my wife, she's educated. She, gra she graduated from college like twice. <laughs> um, and I, when I first started the show, I, I, would, I was in the habit of telling people to mash one to let me know they needed to talk. 
instead of press. So now I, ha I, I'm, I had to get in the habit of going, press one to let me know that you want to talk to our guest. But I used to say mash. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you can't laugh at yourself, man, you, you know, you, That's no, right. no, I mean, come on now. Yeah. All right. Hey, this is <laughs> Everlet with Red, their latest single right here on Fred Michael Show, Life is a Rock Star. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, Julie? How are you? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, YouTube. Hey, subscribe. Click the link below and subscribe. Cheers. I like this song, man. I like it. I wish y'all could hear it. Mash away. I tell you, I mash away. All right, welcome back, and that was Red right here with our special guest, Everlit. Everlit. Now I'm, I'm gonna have to think about how I say it every time. Every time now, um, we've got another phone call online. Let's go see who we got here. Thank you for calling the show. Who do we have on the line, and where are you calling from? Hi, you guys. Uh, it's just me on the line. It's me. Hey. Actually, it's who? Hi, guys. Okay. Julie. Julie. Julie Farfan one on Twitter. Uh, What's up, Julie? How are you guys doing? What's up? Uh, Fantastic. How you doing, girl? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad I got through. Yeah. Good to hear from you. Yeah, we're glad you got through too. Interview you on. First, I wanted to tell you guys I love your band. I really do. You guys are awesome. I'm so happy when I listen to your music, and I mean, Fake is my most favorite song since I listen to all of your songs, and um, Red, I mean, I want, my question to you guys is, I wanted to ask who writes the lyrics. Um, it's, the majority of it's done by uh, me and Jacob, uh, this is Ryan, the singer, uh, 
You know, I mean, normally, normally um, the, the guys will write the instrumentals, and then I'll start the vocal process by just kind of, like, mumbling and, like, humming until I come up with, like, what seems like it's going to be a good uh, vocal pattern, you know, catchy stuff. And then I'll kind of think, like, well, you know, what's a good idea for this song? And then we'll put an idea to it. I'll probably work it till it's about, like, 50 or 60% where I feel like it's kind of ready. And then I go meet mm-hmm. with Jacob, and me and him, like, kind of, he's a hip-hop artist as well on the side. And he's really good with, like, kind of rhyming and tying together words and ideas. So he'll then help me finish it. And I'd say once it's from that 50, 60% spot, then we work on it together from the way out. Oh. That's, that's Be safe. <laughs> I, yeah, that's I, and, yeah, I found this, you know, we're like, we don't know who writes the lyrics, if it's just one person, or, you know, but thanks for explaining yeah. that, so. Well, yeah, that's cool. and I say hey, the uh, majority of it's done by uh, me and Jacob, but also, um, you know, Jordan and Anthony and Kyle, they put in input, too. Uh, I would just say that me and Jacob were the, the main part of it. Okay. Yeah, we're not like the judges on American Idol. We'll definitely, you know, if we don't like it, we'll, we'll trash it in our own creative ways. <laughs> hey, oh no, my God. Julie, 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 this is Jordan. I just want to say, you know, you know, thanks to you that your opening statement, um, you know, about, you know, us and our music and, you know, makes you happy and all that. It really, I mean, that means a lot to us. I mean, that's the reason why we do it. So, uh, you know, you just made my night. Aw, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> well, this definitely makes my night, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm glad you guys got a little bit of a break on your tour. Yeah. You were able to go home and get showered, <laughs> uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> you know? And, um, hey, so, a nice shower feels great. Definitely. Being, being home feels good, too. So, But, you know, we as fans appreciate you know, the the work, the, the sacrifices that you guys make and, you know, getting out there and, you know, bringing your music to everybody, it, it really is a great thing. And I'm so proud of you guys for doing that, you know, and it, it, it takes a lot because I know you guys do have your jobs and, you know, your regular life that you have at home and um, trying to, you know, hold everything down there and on top of it doing what you're doing on the road. So... Um, it's amazing. It's pretty amazing what you guys do and pulling, you know, five guys together to, to, to do all that is, is, is a feat in itself. So, <laughs> yeah. so thank you very much for doing that. Thank and, you so much, you know, Lois. We, I listen to you every day. I hear your music every day, so it, and it really does make me happy. And I blast it, and I don't care who hears it. <laughs> Amen. I really want to hear it. I want to ask you a question. Julie, what's uh-huh. your favorite part about Everlist? What made you decide to really, like, love us as a band? You know what? Denise, Denise, Roman's Girl 2073, and she just talked to you guys, and she was the one, basically, that hooked me on to you guys. And I heard it. She's like, you got to hear this band. They're, they're an awesome band. And I'm like, okay, you know. So I listened to you, and, you know, Breakaway was the first one that I listened to, and I watched the video, and holy shit. I saw <laughs> it. So, so. I was like, oh, my God. So um, so then I just kept listening to the rest of, of the, the album, the EP that you guys put out. And then I, you know, of course, ordered it. And, you know, it was great. So, oh. um, you know, and then, yeah, so, I mean, of course, you guys are not that looking at all. <laughs> I mean, so. Oh, go I'm on, go right. on. <laughs> I'm so oh. blessing right now, my gosh. I'm not afraid to admit Anthony is my favorite. <laughs> but, oh, but, but you guys, Every, you guys. Oh, oh, just oh, perfect. And he gets a few Anthony fire. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, so good. Now he's going to so take a hundred selfies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will enjoy this victory. Julie, you made my night and Brad. Do victory me. selfie right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're so awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, oh, Julie, you rock. <laughs> I so look forward to seeing you. Um, I, I don't know positively. You know, honestly, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to make it or not on the 19th, but I'm hoping to see you in Joliet, Illinois. Um, hoping my ride comes through because I can't go alone. I don't want to go alone. So, you know. Oh, she's you like, got to make it. I know. I know. She's a hairdresser. And she's like, I don't know if I can. I'm like, oh, my gosh. 
Come on, you gotta go. I told, I just texted her today, and I said you gotta make sure you can get out on the 19th because we are going to rock. And I need to get that picture with with Anthony. And on the 21st, Denise has to get her picture between Jake and Ryan. Oh yeah, we will make that happen. You, we can't wait to see you. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, That's guys. Awesome. That's I'm gonna awesome. let you go. I'm wow. gonna let you go. I thought, man, she got off quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta get going. I gotta get kids to bed. So. Well, hey, we we'll appreciate you. Appreciate you listening and calling the show. We appreciate that. Always. I, I I hope I get to meet you guys. I really do. I wanna I wanna give a hug. Is it okay if I give a hug if I see you guys? You know, oh, yeah. we'll be there for hugs, for, uh, you know, pictures, everything. Okay. Hey, okay. Anthony's statement about Anthony, he's going to be pissed if he doesn't get a hug from me. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Just a plan. Just a plan. All right. Remember, Anthony, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's what it's about, baby. You know it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see you later, then. Have, Have a good night, Thank you so much right. again for calling in. Okay. Alrighty, take care, guys. Bye, Julie. Bye, bye. All right, that was a very interesting um, call right there. <laughs> <laughs> we had some wonderful fans, man. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, uh, that's what it's about, right like there, too. Reaction, that was just an interesting call. That, that was the best call. <laughs> <laughs> that that leads me to a question I'm gonna like to ask. What would be the most um, Let's see how I can word this. Craziest moment that you've had so far. Crazy. <laughs> no. uh, I mean, I could, uh, I, I can think of some. I mean, Ryan, Ryan has had some pretty interesting moments, but I, I can't spoil the bunch for him. Uh, what do you mean, like, as far as, like, what fans have said to us kind of thing? Yeah, fan moment. Let's just, let me refer it. Well, fan craziest moment, right. fan moment. Well, we all had weird ones, but I, I think some of the most interesting ones are where, like, a fan might just walk up and just whip out her boobs and be like, sign my boobs or something like that, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's always yeah, it. we've had we've had some fans come up and after the show, I mean, we love hanging out and meeting everyone and just having a conversation or you know getting some pictures with them. But we've had some fans approach us and just do some pretty crazy things, you know. I mean, you know, you'll get your fan that just comes up and you, you may not be paying attention. They may blindside you with you know a kiss, like Ryan said, some some boobs just flying out, some you know some other yeah, blindside you, know, crazy... you with the boobs of the face, you know. Like, Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hey, nothing wrong with a large size, you know, boob. <laughs> yeah, no. But it's like, yeah, Anthony said that. Just, uh, there has been a couple, like, you know, like, like, surprise attack. Like, people will try to surprise attack you with a kiss or, like, try to jump on you, that kind of stuff. It's interesting. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Yeah. I could, I could probably think of worse things to be blindsided with. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few that could top boob, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I'll tell you what, uh, guys. Um, other than that, I had a few more questions, but I think we covered most of them in little chit-chats in between. But um, <clears throat> are there any last words um, that y'all would like to talk about? Any? Um, well, first of all, let's talk about who all you toured with. And what year did the band form? We didn't cover that. Uh, yeah, so, um, the, you know, like, like we kind of briefly mentioned, but, you know, at the start of this was, you know, Everly kind of formed from uh, our previous band, Will Powerless, that Ryan and I and, and Jacob, the drummer, uh, were in, and we, you know, lost our guitar player. So, a, a lot of our touring that we've done... No, what year did it form? Came, what year? Uh, two th the end, very end of 2014. So, okay. All right, 2014. We've been around for about a year and a half now. Um, well, I tell you what, y'all done y'all done some I mean awesome things in a short period of time as a group. Oh yeah, we had a definitely a good start for sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we've had, we've had a lot of, 
we've had a lot of fun. Since, since we were at Everlane, we've been out with uh, Trap, we've been out with In This Moment, 36 Crazy Fists, otherwise. We've done a decent amount of, uh, you know, stuff to support the music that, that we've been Don't forget Fuel. So. Yeah, we did Fuel, Fuel, man, one of my favorite bands. We played Fuel yeah. with them. Yeah, Fuel, we did a, a sold-out show with Fuel and Lancaster. So, yeah, we've had, we've had some, the cool, some cool stuff. We got, you know, this, this run with, uh, in May that we have coming up after our little break. We're playing with Head DE, um, and a beer union. So we got, yeah, we, we're doing some fun stuff that we're, we're really excited about. Wow, that's cool. I didn't hear, did you tell about, uh, Taproot and American Head Charge and... Yeah, that's kind of where I was going with it in the beginning. You know, we, uh, the majority of our scoring, we, um, did under the name Will Power, some of the previous bands. Uh, we've been out a, a, a lot at, at Little Power, but some of the cooler stuff we did was with uh, a band called Tapper, who was one of our favorite bands growing up. Um, you know, we went out with American Head Charge, Boyus Car. Uh, you know, we've done some cool stuff on that name. So we've spent a lot, of, a decent amount of time of, of our life in bands on the road. So. Well, that's cool. Well, um, next time y'all come to my neck of the woods, I'm hoping that um. It's 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 at a time that I'll I'll be able to come see the show. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Yeah, um, yeah we're definitely going back to Sevierville for sure. We had a blast there. Well, if you come to Sevierville, Knoxville, anywhere around this way, I'm gonna make sure to arrange it so I can I can be available to come see it because I'd love to see y'all guys live. Um, oh, yeah. Now, y'all, y'all. So do what now? Club was in Sevierville, do you guys remember? 1341? Yes, Club 1341. Yeah, because don't, um, I didn't even know that venue even existed. And because some, some people at work was telling me that, yeah, hey, Trap's coming to, I was like, where in the heck are, the, I didn't say that word, but, um, where are they coming in Sevierville? And they told me, and I was like, what is that place? Um, there's not many places live music like that comes around here, so I would imagine that place will stay packed. Now, yeah, did y'all sample? It, it was sold out. It did, was nice. Did y'all sample y'all some moonshine while y'all was here? Uh, I would take that last. Some with some backer. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to in the face with some backer. <laughs> Cause um, we have moonshine places on the corner. Like there's McDonald's everywhere. We have okay. moonshine places. Yeah, yeah tell him. Yeah. Tell him the story about Mike real quick. Was excuse me, Taylor. You got spit in my back or? <laughs> uh, don't judge all of us by that one, please. <laughs> no, we had a blast. We hung out with him all night. He was, he was on fire. He was a funny, funny guy I've ever met. <laughs> well, that's awesome. All right, um, we'll give everybody your social media um, and websites and where they can find your music. Yeah, check us out on uh, Facebook uh, slash Everlit Music. Uh, all of our tags, man, are Everlit Music. Um, our personals, you know, mine uh, for Twitter is at Anthony Everlit. I don't know Jordan Ryan, so I'll tell you. Oh, I'm just Jordan, just Jordan Panfield, Ryan, Ryan Panfield. And I just yeah, same on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, too, y'all. I think Mad Sweet picked on there. <laughs> Mad yeah, Sweet Pick. Mad Sweet Our, our Everlet tag is uh, the Everlet Music at, um, you know, whatever channel you're on. So if you're on YouTube, we're Everlet Music. If you're on Twitter, you're Everlet Music. Facebook, Everlet Music. Yeah, and make sure you guys go on, give us a like, go to our YouTube, we just dropped the video, go check out all our videos, Red, Breakaway, give us likes, comment, you know, reach out to us, we love to talk to everybody. That's yeah, awesome. And go buy some merch on our website. Oh yeah, they got some badass shirts on there, they got some, I, I, like, I like that man, y'all got some cool logos on there, I really like that. I checked those out myself. Sure did. Well, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to put y'all um, to the side for a moment and um, do my ending of the show, and I'll be right back with y'all, okay? 
Dad, you'll, 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 thank you. you'll hold on just a second. All right, everybody, that's all for this edition of the Fret Michael Show. Life is a rock star right here. Thanks for everybody for listening by whatever device. And now I can say watching Periscope, YouTube, and uh, Facebook Live. Thank you all so much for tuning in, everybody, uh, and taking your time out. And especially to my guests for taking their time out of their um, schedule and their personal time to be on the show tonight. We really do appreciate it. And we want to thank to Thank you to everybody out there because if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't do what we do. And we appreciate that um, from the bottom of our hearts. So remember, this show will be available on demand and a link will be posted shortly after the show on my Facebook. And I will um, make sure to get a link to the guys so they can share it with everybody and so people can go back and listen to this interview um, after tonight or tomorrow whenever they want to because i will share it to the share um, button wires out <laughs> so um until we speak again same time next week peace love rock and roll be safe and please remember to always believe and keep on rocking this has been a fret michaels entertainment double take production well yeah, well, maybe we got all the way to the end of the show and the internet stopped working. Can y'all still hear me? I can still hear you. Yeah. All right, here, here we go. And, that, and that's how a rock star lives. It's the Brett Michaels Show, Life as a Rock Star at Double Take Studios. Join Brett again next time for Brett Michaels Show, Life as a Rock Star. All right, guys. Hey, that's that's a wrap on that show, man. I appreciate it, man. That was a lot of fun. I don't know, guys. Hey, I've been telling everybody I work with and everybody I come in contact about you guys, and I'll continue to do that. And anytime y'all want to promote anything, make sure you let me know, and I will share it, retweet it, and everything, okay? Uh, you're, ver you're very welcome, and y'all have a great night. Be safe, and we'll stay in touch, okay? Hey, yes, sir. Um, make sure if you if if um, I'll stay, I'll keep posting and checking on y'all's stuff. But if you um think about it and you're in this area, man, make sure you let me know, okay? Oh man, y'all take care. Yes, sir. Thank y'all so much. Bye. Peace. Bye, YouTube. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace. Peace. Love. Rock and roll. Catch y'all next time. Subscribe. Click the link below and subscribe. Thank y'all so much.